Okay, so the first card is opportunity. Your planets are be beginning to align, bringing you investments, real estate, money and legacies. Opportunity is coming into your life. Be wise enough to recognize it. The doorway is opening a time for change. So something brand new coming in and a great, uh, this is really good news uh, because it seems like, you know, the energies are starting to get into line again and opportunity is going to present itself to you. You've got the famine card of year, a time of limited opportunity, sacrifice or change. And the only solution is to conserve all resources and seek greater opportunity elsewhere. So you have been going through a period of famine, a period of lack, uh, but it looks like things are going to start opening up for you and this opportunity is going to present itself. So, um, you know, whatever has been going on in the past, it seems like things are going to start moving. And so you have been isolating yourself away from everyone. But it says now is not the time to deliberately isolate yourself from others. On the contrary, it is a time to increase your social life because it creates greater opportunity and more choices. So you need to network. You need to socialize. You need to get out there and go and have some fun, really. So, Doris, it's time for you to move out of that uh, hermit mode and you need to go out there and have some fun. So in the past, you've got uh, completion, a time of reward, opportunity, success, money, and good health. A uh, stranger brings good news, a uh, completion of lessons finally learned, and a feeling of self-satisfaction concerning your job. So it looks like you have now reached completion of a phase that you've been going through. You can see there's a lot of bones over there. So, uh, you know, a very difficult position, um, uh, past that you've come through, and it looks like you have now ended that cycle, and you are now going to be moving forward. So um, you've got the... Um, in going to the future, you've got the stranded card. You might feel stranded financially and emotionally with no help from others. You might feel cut out and out of touch. Take time to think of new plans for the future and have faith and trust in yourself. So you are being very self-reliant. You are feeling very isolated. Maybe you do have to make that concerted effort to make friends because you've isolated yourself for so long. Uh, you know, you've had to rely on your own instincts and your own, um, you know, your own uh, talents really to get things done. So uh, now it's time to make some new plans for the future and um, uh, to move forward. And these opportunities are going to start presenting uh, themselves to you. Um, so hang in there. Things will change. And uh, it looks like new opportunities are going to be coming your way soon. So I'm going to use the Tarot Apocalypsis right now. Um, and that's for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. Let's see what's going on. So the first card is the Six of Pentacles. It looks like, uh, you know, money is coming in over here. So this is, a, you know, a very generous card. So somebody might be giving you some finances. Um, you can see money is coming in over here. This is, um, you know, maybe the universe giving you something, a new opportunity as well with the six, six of pentacles. Uh, it's about, um, you know, after going through lack with the five of pentacles, the six of pentacles brings in this unexpected wealth or unexpected money that comes in to get you through difficult situations. So, you know, um, this is about the generosity of the universe. Um, it could be about um, receiving, um, not so much so about taking out a loan, but rather receiving uh, what is due to you from the universe. So it looks like finance is coming your way. Things are going to start are starting to look up for you on a financial basis. Now you've got the two of pentacles. You have been juggling finances a lot, and you know, trying to you know, you're assessing your finances while um, juggling the, this money. She's standing on the um, shivling him over here. So standing, you know, getting. Uh, through uh, difficult situations over here. Maybe you have a choice of jobs as well coming in for you. So, you know, you have to make a decision about which project to focus your energy on as well. Uh, you know, whether to go in, uh, go or leave a situation as well, that's uh, pending. So uh, this is about trying to get that money in order, trying to balance those finances, trying to balance your work projects, uh, trying to achieve financial balance really, and maybe even reviewing your finances. You've come through a very, very difficult situation over here. You've got the Three of Swords. This is a breakdown of communication, dealing with people that were very toxic, dealing with people that caused a lot of pain and hurt in your life as well. Um, you know, And maybe even this uh, Two of Pentacles is trying to choose a relationship a choice between two things, two people. Um, uh, you know, one person may have broken your heart uh, and, you know, you, you're maybe having to let go of that as well. So this is dealing with that heartbreak 
um, and maybe making that choice about whether to leave that situation or not. It also is about, you know, having a heartbreak and then having to deal with that financial, uh, those financial problems as well. Now, you've got the Princess of Pentacles over here. It looks like, you know, you've been dealing with uh, money or uh, trying to get that finance in order as well in the last year. So the Princess of Pentacles is somebody that's trying to manifest, um, you know, f uh, finance. The Ace of Pentacles is where that idea about how to manifest comes in. And the Princess of Pentacles is how, you know, where you actually physically are manifesting. So you've been putting a lot of work and energy into uh, new ideas. You can see this woman is pregnant over here. So you've had a lot of new ideas. Maybe you still do have a lot of ideas that you're trying to bring out into um, reality. There's been a lot of communication. Uh, you can see there's a lot of birds over here. Uh, and that pentacle over there. So you've been networking a lot and trying to manifest whatever new ideas you have. So you've had uh, these ideas with these, the Ace of Pentacles, but with the Princess of Pentacles, it's trying to manifest those ideas. And you've been working on that in the last year. Then you've got the Princess of Cups over here. So you've been doing a lot of learning as well in the past. So the Princess of Cups is about education, about uh, communication about transformation you can see there's a lot of butterflies over here so whatever new information you've been learning or new um, education that you've had has transformed you quite a bit uh, and you've been making plans for the future you can see she's looking to the future trying to bring about that big change in your life so what's in your mind you've got the chariot over here so you're trying to you're very determined to get ahead. This is the card of ambition, really. So whatever you've been putting your mind to, you've been very, very focused, and you're taking control and taking charge, and you want it to be very successful. So you've been very focused on that, achieving your goals. You've got the King of Wands over here. So this could be you taking control of that situation. On the other hand, you might be dealing with a fire sign person. You've got this huge snake over here. So this person is... um. So fire sign as an Aries, uh, Leo, or Sagittarius could well be the case. There's a big snake in this card which is talking about somebody who is very, very deceptive, a person who lies, cheats, uh, who is causing you a lot of drama and a lot of problems. They're very ruthless in what they do. So you might be dealing with that kind of energy at the moment. Uh, you know, watch your back. This is a dangerous person. They've got this cobra over here. So, um, you know, watch what they say. Um, you know, they have no sympathy or no empathy for your situation or who you are. And they could be stirring up a lot of problems. So this could be the energy that is coming in here. So what's happening with you? You've got the strength cards. You have all the weapons you need to be able to fight this particular person. You can see this is that uh, Durga with all the goddess Durga. She's got all the weapons in her hands over here. She's riding this lion and she's dealing with the Shiva, the destroyer. So whatever uh, situation you are dealing with, uh, you will have the weapons and you will be able to overcome it. So just have the confidence and know that you have everything you need. And then she has that lotus flower, which is about wisdom. So you even have the wisdom and knowledge to able to be able to sort the situation out. So nobody's going to be able to take advantage of you. You will be able to sort all uh, sort that person or that problem out. Uh, you've got the magician card, and this is what people see around you. So whatever you are thinking, you are being able to manifest. The magician is somebody who's very busy, who multitasks, a good communicator, uh, somebody who is working very hard and very, very busy as well. So the magician is the be beginning of a brand new cycle and being able to manifest things, uh, you know, as above, so below. So whatever uh, your uh, spiritual path is, or whatever your uh, life path is, it seems like you're going to be able to manifest this. So your hopes and fears, there's some kind of choice that you need to make. There's a decision that you need to make to move forward and you're a bit worried about what to choose. So you want to be able to do something that brings you out of this uh, difficulties and you're trying to make a decision about what to do next. This card is also ruled by um, um, Gemini as well, the lovers. So you've got that magician card over here and the Gemini. Uh, you know, both of these cards are being um, are ruled by Mercury. So the idea is that, you know, Mercury rules the mind. You're going to have to think yourself out of the situation. Uh, so make sure that you're very cunning and, uh, you know, you um, Make sure that you research all the facts before any kind of action. So going into the future, you've got the Temperance, the Prince of Cups, and the Hermit card. So Temperance is finding that balance, uh, communicating with people, getting advice, uh, using all your talents to achieve a goal, and healing from a difficult situation. It's also ruled by Sagittarius, so this is talking about, you know, um, um, 
approaching a wider audience or taking your ideas out into, uh, you know, um, expanding your horizons, really. It could also be about travel and healing with this temperance card. Make sure, you know, you don't get too emotionally involved in things. Uh, try and keep a little bit of a distance. you got the Prince of Cups over here. So this is about either studying uh, further or this is about a new offer coming in that will transform your life. So something is going to present itself. This is an angel. He's bringing in this new offer. Um, you know, he's got an arrow, so you have to be very focused about what you do. But there's a lot of transformation and a lot of communication coming in as well. Uh, so something that's going to change you completely and this person brings it in, the Prince of Cups energy. This could be a water sign person. It could be um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that comes in. Uh, but whatever this offer is, is going to be very life-changing, transform transforming. It's got that archer symbol. You know, that's the sign for you know, temperance is ruled by Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the archer. And interestingly enough, this um, particular angel has got the... Um, um, a bow and arrow as well. So you need to focus your energy. It's very important that you focus your ideas and focus your energies in order for you to move. Uh, so pick something that you want to do or accept that offer and then focus your energies on it. It's going to mean that you know, you're going to do a lot of uh, work. This is a focus on work with the Hermit card. But it's going to be where you're banging your own drums. So it seems like you're going to be walking your own path uh, and you're going to be very self-reliant. And, you know, the Hermit card is ruled by Virgo and it shows expertise in that particular field. So whatever you're doing, uh, it might be a new path and something new, something you haven't done before. But it's definitely something that you've always wanted to do. You're following your own rules and you're becoming an expert at it. You've got that star in the back over there. So, you know, you're also being guided uh, as you do this new thing that you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to just draw some cards from the Animal Tarot, and this is for the Oracle Read. The first card is the High Priestess, which says, uh, this is the time to pause and reflect, not to take action. Trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. So you're going through a new cycle of learning and transformation and wisdom. And it says, just wait a little there's a, d a divine timing in place, you will be able to move forward and move forward with a lot of wisdom. It looks like there might be new learning opportunities, but great transformation coming in as well. And the second card is the Seven of Winter, which says caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables, including uh, non-material resources. Be aware um, of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. So be very vigilant. You could have people that are very deceptive, thieves. You can see this uh, crow um, is stealing this um, key. So you could have people taking valuables, watch your valuables, but also watch out that, you know, people could be taking and stealing ideas from you. So be very cautious about who you deal with and who you divulge important information to. And the last card is the Princess of Summer, which says you can expect to kindle, rekindle a new romantic relationship or close platonic friendship. You might, be, you might suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or invited to a social event. So with the Princess of Summer of Year or Princess of Water, um, which is like the page of water, it's about receiving some kind of social invitation, uh, you know, an offer or uh, to go out or it could be even an offer for you to further study because the cups cards usually deals with education. So some kind of offer coming in for you. It could be a social invitation. If it is a social invitation, it is about time that you get out of that loneliness situation. You've been going through this heartbreak for far too long. Um, it's, it's time for you to now change the way you think about things and, you know, go out there and go and have some fun and relax a little bit. So if any social invitations are coming your way, I would I would strongly suggest you go out there and have uh, let your head on and have some fun. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.